No one at the Department of Corrections will face criminal charges following the scandal allowing hundreds of prisoners out early. Good evening. I'm Brandy Peterson. I'm Rob McCartney. The Attorney General and the Lancaster County Attorney say blame it on laziness, lack of technology, and efficiency. Well, KATV News Watch 7's Nicole Goodrich is live to explain in our big story at 6. Attorney General John Bruning says they were looking at prosecuting under two different laws official misconduct and obstructing government operations. Both of those are misdemeanors and could carry up to a year in prison. However, Bruning says the Attorney General's office was not able to prove that either of those laws were broken. We are not able to bring criminal charges against any Department of Corrections employees. That's the word from Attorney General John Bruning and Lancaster County Attorney Joe Kelly, saying this investigation compiled by the Nebraska State Patrol shows Department of Correction employees were bad at their jobs, but not criminals. The facts showed me was that this was incompetence, ineptitude, negligence, but not criminal intent. This stems from the revelation that thousands of prison sentences were miscalculated, allowing hundreds of prisoners free early. Because you're angry at somebody for screwing up a department and creating a mess, as a prosecutor, as an attorney general, that's not enough to file charges. Some employees, like the department's former head legal counsel, George Green, say they didn't read a state Supreme Court decision impacting the calculation of prison sentences. The evidence wasn't there to disprove anyone saying, I just didn't do anything. Senator Steve Lathrop, the chair of the Special Legislative Committee investigating the Department of Corrections, reacted to the announcement saying, I am deeply troubled that the Attorney General was both representing and investigating the Department of Corrections at the same time. However, Bruning defended his decision not to call in a special prosecutor, saying both he and Kelly came to the same decision independently. I, I think the public trusts me in my judgment. I think the public trusts Joe Kelly and his judgment. A special prosecutor has been brought in to investigate the Nico Jenkins schedule, or scandal, excuse me, and we're told the special legislative committee that is investigating the Department of Corrections should be out with its own report by December 15th. Reporting live in Lincoln, thanks. Some refreshing news.